you're thinking it's about time for another weaving video because I promised you the fourth one in this series. Wrong answer. I haven't done a cooking video in ages and I think it's time for a cooking video and in specific a grilling video. So the first thing let's do is cover the ingredients. Ingredient number one, beer. Notice my new hat. I just I, We were in Jamaica for vacation and I picked up this really neat hat that comes with an included bottle opener. It's not the best bottle opener in the world, but it does work. So, the beer. That's just to lubricate the chef. Um, the next ingredient. Whatever your favorite uh, barbecue seasoning is. I'm going to use a little bit of barbecue's um, Grillmates Sweet and Smoky Rub. You can't see it, but in here I've got some brown sugar, some light brown sugar. The recipe that I got off the internet calls for Dijon mustard. I don't have any Dijon mustard, and personally I prefer Dusseldorfer mustard, so we're going to use Dusseldorfer. And finally, whiskey. So, well, that's the, the <coughs> flavorings. Then we need some meat. We're using a pork loin roast, a small one. There's only two of us to eat this thing. We can't even eat all that. So our charcoal is starting to catch. I'm going to turn it over and do that. Spread that out a little bit. I'm not going to, I'm going to grill this indirectly. In effect, I'm going to um, put the meat right about here in the middle so it's not totally roasted. So, we'll put the grill top on and get it nice and warmed up. Next step, let's get out our pork loin roast take it out of the plastic and lay it on our board and throw this thing away I want to butterfly this pork loin roast so Couldn't be easier than that. That almost went too far, but I think we're okay. So that's the prep work on there. The next thing I'm going to do is just close it up again. I need paper towels. We will spread a little bit of this on one side then turn it over spread a little bit more of this on the other side bit on the ends. A little bit more on the inside. Next thing we need is a little bit of the whiskey. How much? I don't know until it looks about right. Not a lot. After the whiskey comes the mustard.
again, I'm not using a lot of mustard, but just enough to give us a little bit of flavor in there. Brown sugar. Got to get past that piece of bread that we were using to keep the moisture in. We'll spread a little bit of brown sugar on there. Again, I'm not using a huge, large quantity of it. Brown sugar and another dash of the whiskey. We'll go on the other side here just a little bit. That's it. Next thing I'm going to do is cut up a string so I can tie this guy closed again. We'll close him up like that. Put that brown sugar back inside. And I forgot what ingredient. I will be right back. I got to go get it out of the fridge. Here's the forgotten ingredient. Bacon. Use a good bacon. Don't buy that cheap junk at the mass marketing place. This is Nusky's. It's probably, in my opinion, it's the best bacon anywhere. So, what I'm going to do is just lift this guy up and put a piece of bacon underneath. So it's under there. It's a little longer than I need, but I was going to cut that off, and I don't think I will. I'm going to wrap it around there completely. This time I'll cut a piece off. So, we will now take and tie this whole thing shut. Put a double knot in there. Double twist the first knot. I think I've heard that called a surgeon's knot. Although I'm not 100% sure. One more chunk of string. We need a long piece this time. Because we're going to go around it from this end. Tie those in. Bring this up. don't need all that extra string, so we're going to cut a little bit of it off. The fire's looking really nice. And here's our meat going right in. Even sounds good. Let's close that up. The Weber thermometer says we're about 300, which is right where I want it. It's a little bit high for barbecue, but I want to crisp up that bacon as I cook. Okay, now we're ready. The, the meat's cooking. We're ready to start on the glaze that we're going to put on the meat as it gets closer to being done. So let's start with the ingredients for that. I've got a half a stick or approximately a quarter of a cup of butter. And that's going to go right into the saucepan here, as soon as I get the paper off of it. There we are with that. One quarter cup of brown sugar. One quarter cup of this mustard. So I'm going to put it into my quarter cup measure.
That's pretty close. It's a quarter cup of brown of brown mustard. Stay put on the fire there. And finally, one quarter cup of whiskey. Which I'm going to use to rinse out the um, mustard with. So we'll do about a half of the normal. There we go, a quarter cup of whiskey. Yeah, maybe it's a little over. Who cares? And what I'm going to do is turn on the heat and start to get this all to get happy, happy together and reduce it <coughs> to till it's almost half its volume a little bit thicker. And I'll show you that as I get closer to it. The thermometer here says that the internal temperature of the meat is 129 Fahrenheit. So what I'm going to do is take the cover off my sauce, open up the grill, take a look at it, it's looking nice, and we're going to glaze, put some of this glaze on it. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to see if I can turn the meat over to the other side. And I'm going to add just a couple more briquettes. We'll go for about 15 or 20 more minutes and call it done. Hey, YouTubers, you hear the bells? They're over that way. That's St. Norbert's Abbey. It's been a long time since I managed to get a video at the same time as uh, the St. Norbert's Abbey bells. But uh, that means it's 5 o'clock, so that also means my pork roast should be just about done. So let's listen to the bells as I open up this thing and uh, take the pork roast off. I'm going to aim the camera down in just a second. Perfect timing, my neighbor decided to turn on his lawnmower. Removing the strings. Looks good. Oh, 
Ó. I'm hoping you can hear me over the lawnmower in the neighbor's yard. This is fantastic. Guys, if you like this, if you like my videos, I would appreciate you subscribing. I'll come back in the camera view. Hey, if you like my videos, I'd appreciate you subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, thanks a million. This pork roast is juicy, tender, flavorful. I highly recommend this recipe. Give it a try. And thanks a million for watching my videos. Bye-bye.